Hey creatives, welcome to A Thing of Beauty. If you're new here, I am Ashwati and I create content for creative people. You're watching the fifth video in my Procreate Bite Size tutorial series. If you missed the previous ones, I'll put the link for the playlist in the description. Do check it out. Today we are going to see all about the canvas. But before we jump in, I'm super excited to let you in on the new project that I've been working on for my supporters. So stick on till the end to know all about it. That being said, let's jump right in. A canvas is, as the name suggests, like a canvas or an artboard on which you draw your illustration. Click on the plus sign to create a new canvas. Procreate comes with a variety of preset canvases. You can choose one of them based on what kind of illustration you're gonna create. You can swipe left on the canvas to edit or delete it. Or click here to create a new custom canvas. Let's create one. The properties that you assign to a canvas are determined by the purpose of your illustration. For example, are you going to create an illustration for printing or for the web? If it's for printing, will it be printed on a large area like a billboard or will it be printed on a small area like a t-shirt or a mug? All these determine your canvas properties. For demo, let's create a 6 inch by 6 inch square canvas for printing. First, let's name this as 6 inch by 6 inch 300 dpi. DPI is dots per inch. Typically, DPI is a measure of number of dots that can be placed in a line across one inch. The higher the DPI, the sharper the image. 300 DPI means that there are 300 dots or pixels in a one inch line. So if you want to make a canvas of 6 inches by 6 inches with 300 DPI, you will have to make 300 multiplied by 6, that is 1800 pixels by 1800 pixels canvas with 300 dpi. I know that's a lot of math, but you don't need to do all that in Procreate. Procreate gives you the option to input dimensions in millimeters, centimeters, inches or pixels. You can enter the width and height of the canvas here. Let's select inches and type 6 by 6. dpi 300. Now you may see a different number for the maximum layers on your iPad. That's because the number of layers available by canvas size is dependent on the RAM of the device. The larger your canvas, the fewer layers you will have to work with. This is to ensure a high level of performance no matter what canvas dimensions you are working with. It's a appropriate thing. The next property is the color profile. You can see there are two types of profiles. Fundamentally, RGB is best for digital works while CMYK is better for printing products. Let's select CMYK. Next, you have the time-lapse settings. This is one of my favorite features of Procreate. The app can automatically create a time-lapse video of all your strokes. Here you can select what kind of recording you would like. Let's go with 1080p and good quality. And last but not the least, we have the canvas properties. You can select a background color or hide the background. This is totally up to you. I prefer to keep mine white. And let's create. Yay, we have successfully created a canvas for our artwork. That's it for today guys. I hope you now have a good grasp of the canvas dimensions and resolution. In our next video, we will see more about importing into Procreate. But before we go, I have been working on something for the past few weeks and I'm super excited about it. One of the main reasons I create content is to share what I know with as many people as I can. Your feedback and support are what really motivate me into making new content. And I've been thinking of ways to create unique and exclusive content for my supporters and I finally found a way. I will share all the details with you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much for all your love and support. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. To learn more about digital drawing and exclusive goodies, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you know when the next video is up. Until we see you next time, see ya!